Okay, hello my YouTube listeners. Um, I'm back once again. Uh, I want to talk to you today. First of all, I want to say forever blessed I am Yeshua HaMashiach. Forever blessed I am Yeshua HaMashiach. I want to talk to you today about something that is kind of fastly on the rise and it's kind of taking people um, uh, it's, it's capturing the imagination and the minds of a lot of people especially the young people um, and those who have or who do not love uh, the truth and what's happening is there are these people that are called magicians. Now we know magicians have been around for millennials. Okay, they were back as far back as we know is back in the days of Moses. And uh, Moses had to deal with them. Um, and here's what people don't understand. Here's what a lot of people don't don't understand: that those magicians back even in the days of Moses, their acts, what they did was very real. It wasn't a trick. Okay, when that magician in the in the in the days of Moses, if you read the story of Moses, <clears throat> when that uh, magician changed his rod into a serpent, it was very real. Okay. It was very real, and these people, um, they commit acts, evil acts against humans, uh, against the innocent, and they hate Christ. They hate God. Okay, don't let them fool you. Don't let them tell you anything else. They hate God, uh, and they are sold out to Satan. Okay, now. The magicians that we're watching today on television, some of their acts are real. This is what people don't believe and they don't understand. Some of this stuff is very real. Now there are some magicians still doing little sleight of hand tricks and you know stuff like that, but you know taking a rabbit out of the out of the hat and stuff like that. There are a few of them still left, but these magicians that we're seeing on um, uh, television now and on YouTube the newer ones, what they're doing is very real. Now I can't say everything that they're doing, but some of that stuff is real. Okay, these people are sold out to Satan. Okay, uh, these these are Satanists. They are witches, uh, and they oppose everything about anything that has to do with God or Christ. They oppose it. Uh, these people, I'm convinced, they sacrifice humans. They sacrifice humans. They sacrifice babies. They sacrifice animals, of course. Uh, I believe they do some very, very evil and damnable things in private. Okay? In order to gain this, this uh, power that, that they demonstrate. You know, on on uh, the te television screen. Okay. Um, don't be deceived. It's going to get much worse. Okay, as we move, we know. Read the book of Matthew, twenty fourth chapter. As you, as, as the when the disciple asks Christ, what will be the sign of his coming? The first sign he gave them was deception okay and as you read on through that chapter you will see that there are that will there are coming waves of deception okay and each time each time the deception is stronger than the first one and this is what is coming with these people now the bible said now you read Read 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9 through 12. 
what this is leading up to now we we're, we're coming into a day of we're coming into a day where supernatural uh, activities or supernatural events will be very common okay that's the way it was in the days of Moses and the magicians in the days of Moses had so much power until uh, they were people were afraid of them uh, even the world rulers were afraid of Egypt because of this power they had yeah so even the world rulers were afraid of Egypt because of their uh, spiritual evil dark spiritual powers so what God had to do God had to send Moses with spiritual power okay to counter what was going on in Egypt God didn't send uh, uh, chariots and horses and spears and men to do, to fight to war against uh, the uh, Egyptian uh, kingdom but he sent Moses with uh, power spiritual power and that's coming again today that's coming again in the future okay these magicians are going to grow in power they're going to grow with these with these the Bible call what their acts the Bible call their acts lying wonders okay and that's what it is I'm gonna talk a little bit about that a little more but they're gonna grow they're gonna increase and what God is gonna do he's going to send he's gonna raise up people in the church with the spirit and power of Elijah to counter these evil magicians okay they're evil and don't let them fool you. I don't care how much they laugh, smile, and play and joke. These people are evil to the core. They are they are sold out to Satan. They are antichrist. They are anti. They're not the antichrist, but they are antichrist. Okay. Uh, so God is going to send uh, uh, Christians or or His people against them in the last days. And they are going to come in the spirit of Elijah, not the spirit of Moses. People teach that Elijah and Moses is coming back. But Elijah and Moses is not coming back. It's Elijah and Enoch. Okay. Elijah and Enoch is coming back. Enoch said he was coming back. If you read the writings of Enoch, he said he would be the one that's coming back. Also, um, uh, Enoch and Elijah are the only two that has been that has not tasted seen death or tasted death. Moses died. Okay, so Moses is not going to come back and die again. That's not going to happen. Okay, he's not going. He's not one of the two witnesses. He's not going to come back and be assassinated and die again. Nobody's going to die twice. Okay, so it's going to be Moses, it's going, I'm sorry, it's going to be Elijah and Enoch. The spirit of Elijah and Enoch, these two are coming back, but their spirit is going to be on the church, and the church is going to oppose these evil magicians. Okay, they are growing in power, and they are increasing uh, in popularity. Okay, now... Um, There are a number of very popular musicians, magicians that uh, that are uh, very active right now. One is this girl, Sacred Sacred Rihanna. It's her name, Sacred Rihanna. This girl, I believe, I, I don't believe what she's doing is tricks. I believe what she's doing is very real. And I believe here's the sad thing. The people that are sitting being, you don't be entertained with these people. Don't be amused by Satan and his tricks. Don't amuse yourself with him. Uh, he's just, he's just a copycat. He's a, he's a mimic. He mimics, he tries to mimic God. Uh, but don't be amused with these people. Uh, this girl is, the, like most magicians, they're casting spells on you. While you're sitting there watching them and being entertained, they're casting spells on your mind. They're casting spells on your mind. They are releasing curses on you. Okay, they are releasing demons in your house. 
They're releasing evil spirits on you. There's this Shin Lim and Chris Angel and David Blaine, I believe his name is. And, you know, quite a number of them. Uh, these people are uh, in some, into some very dark magic. Now, this didn't just start, of course. I mean, I remember when they started this Harry Potter, Harry Potter, um, these Harry Potter movies and all this, this magical stuff. They were conditioning people's minds even back then. Okay. Um, we, as Christians, we shouldn't be duped. Now, the world, people that hate God and hate Christ, they don't want the church. They don't want the truth. They're going to be deceived. They're going to be pulled into this. I was witnessing to a young man on my job, and I was asking him, I said, I, you know, God just led me to talk to him and go witness to him. I went over there and talked to him. I went over there and said, hey, man, would you like to accept Christ? And anyway, we as we moved into the conversation, he just went, and went right out and told me. He said, man, I'm not bound to him. I'm not bound to Christ. I'm not getting on my, knee, getting on my knees uh, for him. And and he said, uh, he said, um, he said, I'm a pagan anyway. I've, 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 I've turned over to paganism. And I, I asked him, why did you turn over to paganism? He, he said he didn't want to be on his knees bound to, to Christ. And he said it with such hatred, you know, such disdain. And it was, uh, you know, it's just, and I was, I was like, wow. Uh, well, don't you know Christ? Uh, he, he humbled himself just to save you. And, and I said, don't you, Consider all the miracles he did, and you know what the guy told me? He said, Chris Angel do the same thing. Chris Angel do miracles. You know, Chris Angel is another one of these magicians. He said, Chris Angel do miracles. Chris Angel walk on water. You know, they these magicians, they turn water into wine, just like Jesus Christ. This is the whole purpose, you all. They are trying, these magicians want you to think, or believe that Christ was nothing more than a magician, and he's no no he's not no more important than you are or I. They want you to look at Christ as just another person who was using tricks, and he's not worthy to be called God or worship at, worship as God. Okay, uh, but I'm going to tell you what the Bible said about that, because it doesn't matter if they change water into wine like Christ did, if they walk on water like Christ did, if they raise the dead like Christ did. And the Antichrist is going to be doing all this stuff. When the Antichrist comes, he's going to be doing all this stuff. But it doesn't matter because God, the God of the Bible, Jesus Christ, who is the truth, he is the truth. He said that all these things that they are doing is a lie. Even if they do raise the dead like Christ did, even if they do change water into wine like Christ did, even if they do walk on water like Christ did, Jesus Christ said what they're doing is a lie. Okay? Because what they're doing is not rooted and grounded, and it doesn't stem from the truth. It doesn't stem from uh, righteousness, but it stems from Satan. Satan is a lie. He himself is a lie. All he can produce is a lie. So everything he do, it's a lie. Okay? So you may say, well, uh, uh, Chris Angel turned water into wine or Shin Lim or whoever turned water into wine. It's a lie. God said it's a lie. Okay? It's not true. Why is it a lie? Because everything that Satan does, everything Satan will ever do, is going to perish. It's going to be destroyed. It's going to be brought down. And in the end... It's not going to stand. Where where will it be? It was all a lie. Okay? Whereas with Christ, whatever he do, it's going to always stand. It's going to always 
remain. Why? Because it's truth. He everything, all of his the Bible says all of his works are done in truth. Okay? So whatever Christ whatever Christ do, it's done in truth. It's gonna always remain. So it doesn't matter if these people work these type of miracles like the Antichrist is going to do. The Antichrist is going to work miracles, but it's a lie. Okay? Remember, no matter what the Antichrist or these magicians or any other evil person do as far as miracles, it's a lie. It's not going to stand. It's not going to remain. In the end, it's going to be brought down to hell. Satan and all of his works is going to be brought down to hell will be brought down to hell okay so that's why it's a lie and it and it and he and every, all of his uh all the things that he he do is stemming from him it comes out of him the bible calls him a lie not a liar a lie he is a lie and all he produced is a lie whereas christ whatever christ do turn water to wine, raise the dead, walk on water, whatever he do, is, is, is done in truth. It is truth. It's going to remain forever. It's going to stand forever. Okay? So, don't be carried away with these, these miracles or these, these... And they'll tell you, the magicians will tell you, these are not tricks. They will tell you this. You need to watch some of it. I, I would say be careful, though, what you watch, because some, like I said, some of these people, they are casting spells, okay? Um, and don't entertain yourself with it, but I, if, you, if, if you think, well, just be careful. You know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't entertain myself with it, but I do like to learn from it, okay? Um, but now, uh, they will tell you these are not, this, these are what they're doing is, are not tricks okay but it's called magic in other words what they're saying this is real okay this is real so uh okay i'm gonna i'm gonna read something here you need to read second thessalonians second chapter ninth verse through 12 okay and it and it says this the coming of the lawless one the lawless one is satan uh, the lawless one. This man will not uh, adhere to the laws of God. He's not going to do it. Just like these magicians, they don't. They don't believe the 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 Satanist Bible. Um, in there is, is it says one of the commandments or the only commandment it says do as you please. Okay. Uh, in other words, they are lawless. They don't believe in. Uh, the ten, uh, keeping the Ten Commandments. So the lawless one, the Antichrist, when he come, the Bible said the coming of the lawless one will be accompanied by the power of Satan. Okay? The coming of the lawless one uh, will be accompanied by the power of Satan. He will use every kind of power, every kind of power, including miraculous signs. Okay? including miraculous signs and then it says and lying wonders and every type of evil okay now what we're seeing here with these magicians they are lying wonders okay uh as i said earlier what you're seeing is real uh in a sense uh like it's real uh in this reality it's real, but in the face of eternity, when it stands before eternity, all their acts, Satan himself, when it stands before eternity, it's a lie. It's not going to take you no further than that. But the truth of God, the word of God will take you throughout eternity. Okay. Now it says that uh, it calls these acts lying wonders. And this is what you're seeing. This is what the Antichrist is going to do. He's going to deceive people with lying wonders and every type of evil to deceive those who are dying. Okay? These people are dying. They are perishing. People who refuse to buy the word of God, they don't want the word of God, they reject the word of God, they reject Jesus Christ. If, if a man is out preaching on the street, they curse at him, they, they tell him to go home, they hate him, 
They hate on him and all sorts of things. These people are dying. They're perishing. They don't even know it. They're on the way to, the only way to a burning hell. They don't know it. But they are perishing. And it says, uh, he will use every kind of power, including miraculous signs, lying wonders, and every type of evil to deceive those who are dying, to see those who are perishing, those who refuse to love the truth. They refuse to love the truth so that, so that they will be saved. They refuse to love the truth so they will be saved. So they're not going to be saved. They refuse to love the truth. For this reason, God will send them strong delusions or powerful delusions so that they will believe the lie. God is going to send them magic. Okay? God is going to send them magic. He's going to turn water. These people are going to turn water into wine. The Antichrist is going to do it. He's going to raise the dead. Okay? He's going to do all this stuff. And uh, they're going to believe he's the Messiah. They're going to believe that he's just as great as Christ. Some of them are going to believe he is Christ. Okay? But the Bible called him a lie. Okay? These magicians are a lie. What they're doing is a lie. Okay? It's, it's deception. Okay? Even though, yes, they might literally turn that water into wine. You might say, no, this, it's actually real. You, I saw a girl, she actually tasted this stuff. Okay, she drank it. Or drunk it. Drank it, whatever. And it to her, she believed it was wine. Uh, there are other things they are doing uh, that looks, that's very real in this reality. Okay, but in the end, what I'm saying in the end, it's not going to do you any good. It's all going to pan out to just be a lie. It's all going to pan out to just be deception. It's going to be a trick. It's going to be misleading. Okay? Even though you might run across a magician that might, um, he might actually walk on water. I don't know. Uh, and I've seen some of them. The You ever seen those magicians? Uh, the, the face changers. They change faces. Change the mask. I mean, just at the blink of an eye, they change. Man, how do you explain that? You can't explain that. Hey, can't nobody do that. Nobody can do that with tricks, trickery. That's got to be actually happening. Okay? I don't know if you all have seen that or not. But this man will change face, change face changer, magician face changing or something. And this woman, they have this woman changing her clothes into different dresses every like every few seconds she go just change your clothes man how do you explain that you can't explain that okay and you still got these people believing they still don't get it okay this what you watching is this is actually happening this is not a trick this is what is happening is real okay we have moved into an age where um there are these people who have tapped into uh, an evil, very evil source of power. Now, another thing. I've seen magicians teleport. Teleport. Telepathic communication. They do all this. Now listen. All this stuff that they're doing, the, even the, cha the changing of the clothes, uh, the, the many different changing of the clothes... We will be doing all that stuff. We will be changing clothes in the blink of an eye. Okay, those who receive the crown of glory will be doing that. Okay, uh, we'll be changing our hairstyle with just a shake up in the head, shake up our head. A hairstyle will change. The, the crown of glory will give you that ability. As Christians, um, we will now. These people they have they know how to change their face with these masks, but you will be able to change. Your, uh, you will be able to shape shift your body, okay, with uh, the crown of um, probably the crown of life. One of them, the crown of glory, will give you that ability. So what they're doing, Satan has given them 
their kingdom already. We are waiting for ours. We're waiting. See, we could do this too. We could go and hook up with them and say, well, yeah, give me my powers now and I'll, 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 I'll be able to teleport and, and become famous and, and be able to levitate and be able to do blah, 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 whatever. But then, you know what? You're not going to get what God has for you if you accept it now from Satan. That's what Satan tried to get Christ to do when he was tempting Christ. He said, he told Christ, uh, go ahead and turn this bread, turn this stone into bread now. And you can have something to eat. See, if Christ had a did it, obeyed Satan right then, then he would have he would have lost out. But he did not obey Satan right then. He waited on God. Now Christ eat all the bread he wants, don't he? Right? He said, he, he, Satan tempted Christ. He said, bow down and worship me and I'll give you the, all the things. That I'll give you the world. Okay? I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world. All the riches of the world. That's what these magicians have done. They have sold, they have sold out to Satan. Okay? They have accepted theirs now. But now Jesus Christ said, no, I will not bow down to you, Satan, for all the kingdoms of the world. He's, but Jesus Christ said, now I'm going to wait on my father to give me the kingdoms of the world. Now, we know that Jesus Christ owned the world. When he comes back, he's going to rule the world, right? Okay, because he waited. And we know that Satan tempted him. He said, Satan told him, if you are the son of God, uh, uh, what he told him to go up on a high mountain or a building or something and cast yourself down. In other words, uh, Satan was telling Christ, exalt yourself now before the people. Be something great now before the people so they, are, they will honor you and praise you now. But he said, no, I'm not. Christ said, no, I'm not going to do that. Now, Christ, since Christ waited for his father, now he is exalted now. Okay, he's going to be exalted over the entire world as king of the world. Okay, so uh, we are going to wait for our inheritance. We're not going to uh, accept, eat from Satan's hands now. If you eat from Satan's hands now, you will be his king. He will be your king and you will be his servant forever. Okay. But refuse his food, refuse his power. Wait on God the Father for your power and your. Now, actually, God has given us power in this world already. Okay, we have power to heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, and work miracles. Okay, that's given to us even now. But what I'm saying is, there is coming a time when we will be free with this power to do as we please. Now we have to do as the Holy Spirit lead us with his power. Okay? So, yeah, they are they have sold themselves out to Satan. And we're not going to do that. We're going to wait. And we're going to be exalted. Okay, in the last day. We're going to be uh the stars of the world. Okay? Uh we're going to have the power uh and the authority to rule the earth. Okay. So. Um, don't be entertained. Don't be. Don't be mesmerized by these evil people. These people are very evil. And I don't care how friendly they act. They're evil. Don't believe a witch. I don't care what a witch tell you. She's a witch. She's a witch. She's a witch. Okay. A snake is a snake is a snake. Okay. Don't believe them. Don't believe the devil. Okay, I don't care how friendly and nice they act. They hate God. They hate God. They hate Christ. And they're working behind the scenes to destroy everything that has to do with Christianity. All right. So don't be mesmerized by these people. And your day will come. Your day will come. Your day will come to receive your power your authority. Now, actually, now God have already given. Read, uh, read the first chapter of Acts. God has already given us power and authority in the earth already. Okay, so I'm not saying wait until then. I'm not saying sit here and don't do anything. Pray for people. 
you have the gift of healing, pray for them that they may be healed. Uh, you know, we I've seen miracles myself, okay, uh, as a Christian. Um, I prayed for people and saw results as a Christian. Uh, uh, I've seen miracles as a Christian. My mother was dead twice. She died twice, literally died. And the Lord brought her back twice. So um, I'm not saying just sit here and don't do anything while you're here on earth. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying don't go after the glitter and the glamour and the glory of this world. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Don't pursue the glitter and glamour and glory of this world. Pursue the will of God. Okay? The glitter and the glamour and glory and all that stuff is going to come if you wait. These people, these magicians, they don't want to wait. Now, Satan always try to do this. He always try to get the jump on God. Okay? Okay, that's what the Antichrist is going to do. He's going to try to, well, actually, he's mimicking God, too. He's going to try to work miracles to deceive people. But he's going to try to come before God, before the Lord get back, and deceive people as well. Okay, so uh, that's all. That's what I got on this on this magician stuff. Uh, I, you know, as, as I, as the more I stay, stay with God, the more I just hate evil. I just hate it. I just hate, I don't hate those people, but I really, really just hate evil, bad things. And what's so, what's so crazy about it, people don't know the difference anymore. They think, oh, this is okay. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just all fun. Okay. You know, when you watch, when you sit and watch a lot of sitcoms on television and a lot of these comedy shows, they lie all the way through the show. They tell lies all the way through even those old old fashioned shows like Father Knows Best, uh, Mayberry, uh, Andy Griffith, all those old they lie. They tell lies all the way through the show. And we just laugh. But God said liars are gonna have their part in the lake of fire. That's a serious man. That is really serious. And I'm just getting to the place in my life I just hate evil. I want to see so bad the day of Christ's return to put a stop to this evil that is going on in this world. All the killing and murders that's, murdering, murders that's taking place in this world. And it's getting so that uh, it's nothing. It's just fun. Okay, You know, we know Halloween is coming up. These people going out whispering the devil, man. That's what they're doing, man. When you when you participate in Halloween, you're worshiping evil. You're paying homage to evil. You're paying homage to Satan, to death and destruction. You paying you paying homage. You put you're praising and 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 uh, paying homage to evil and death and destruction. You know, and Christians we shouldn't participate in that. We should not participate in that. We should not. We should not. Okay, anyway. Forever blessed I am, Yahshua HaMashiach. Forever blessed I am, Yeshua HaMashiach.